Hello, this is Toby Barris for DM Answers. Today I'll be doing a data mining challenge between Statistica version 12 and Rapid Miner version 6, the trial version of that, and also Rapid Miner version 5.3. One note is that when I did the trial version of, of uh, version 6, I got a message that said that when I tried to import the data, that it exceeded the 8 gigabyte maximum allowed for the trial version. So I was not able to use the trial version to completion to be able to get results. So for the data set that we're using from uh, some mortgage data, if you're interested in some more details, go back, back to dmanswers.com, my blog, and you'll find out some more details about how you can get the, the truck, this data set of mortgage data to do this um, challenge yourself. Uh, anyway, but so to be able to start off, we're going to use Rapid Miner 5.3 and see if it can load in the 18.7 million records uh, from this mortgage data set that I have downloaded in a CSV format. So you see here in Rapid Miner, I have the read CSV um, um, function right here, and I've set it up so that um, it's not going to um, read in the first row as names because there are no names. Um, for the the columns of data. Um, if you're interested in what the columns of data mean, there is a reference also uh, outlined that I give a, a location where you can find that out on dmasters.com. So please refer back to that to get information about what this data set means. Okay, so let's go ahead and just try this. I'm going to click the play button here. Um, you'll notice that uh, the process starts down here. And we're going to keep track of how many seconds it takes to load this in. Uh, I'm going to cut away so that uh, you're not bored by this, but I'll cut back in when it gets uh, close, uh, I believe, to when it's going to um, be completed. So uh, let's go ahead and watch and see what happens, and I'll talk to you in a few seconds. Okay, it's uh, 14 minutes and 49 seconds in. And the screen has just went blank. Um, looked on the task manager, and it says that Rapid Miner is not responding. So we'll see what happens here. If we get a warning message, um, or if it is able to complete the process. It looks like it's froze up. Um, one thing I'd like to point out is that I have had this uh, similar problem with uh, when I've tried to load this in before. Um, I've tried to keep an open mind, um, seeing if this could potentially um, work. Um, but this is the same result that I've seen every time. And normally, if you wait long enough, you will get an error message. Um, see if I can get this to come up. This is the error message you'll normally get to see. Um, it says, this process would need more than the maximum amount of available memory. You can either leave the process as it is and use a computer with more memory, reduce the amount of data by one of the sampling operators, optimize the process by using other learning or pre-processing schemes, or directly work on database systems, e.g. by using the cache database example source operators. Okay, so uh, we're not going to be able to complete this challenge with Rapid Miner 5.3 or version 6, the trial version, uh, because there, it is not successful in um, loading this mortgage data into memory. Uh, we will, um, I will propose maybe a, a challenge that we could do in a couple weeks um, after the Statistica trial that would maybe allow us to do a, a direct comparison between Rapid Miner and Statistica. But as for this challenge, it looks like that Rapid Miner has failed. Here's the trial for Statistica version 12. So I'll just go ahead and go over to the file and select the um, .csv. Before I launch the, well, what I'll do is go ahead and open this. 
Um, it's going to ask me if it's a delimited file or a fixed um, width. I'm going to do delimited. Uh, it brings up this dialog and it's quickly guessed that it's a comma separated file. Um, normally you would use the um, take the variable name from the first row of the file but we don't want to do this because this particular file does not have any variable names in the first row. We don't need to skip any case, leading cases um, so we can just use the rest of the uh, defaults. So we'll just skip bank, blank lines and so forth. Let's go say OK. And I'm going to click start here. And you'll notice that uh, our timer is going over here. Um, it's already important about 50,000 rows. And we'll go ahead and let this uh, record um, how this unfolds here. Um, I'll cut away um, so you don't have to sit here and be bored by the, this process. But I will cut back in when we get close to the 18.7 million rows. And so you can see the time and see that it successfully completes importing all the data. So we're approaching the 18.7 million rows that will be Im imported. And so um, it looks like that we're going to be a little bit over six minutes. This seems to be on par with what I've seen in other. Um, we'll go ahead and click the stop. So just a little over six minutes. This is on par with what I've seen with the um, other trials I've done. Um, the, it's approximately always six minutes to load in this data set. You'll see there are 45 variables and there are 18.7 um, million rows. If we wanted to um, go ahead and put the variable names in to use this data set, we'd have to go back and use the um, PDFs that are under that third heading under the website that I outlined um, on my blog to put in the explanations of what these variables are. But we might do that for uh, some other um, fo follow-up blogs um, to maybe do some predictive um, or some type of analysis with this data. But for today's purposes, we've this show demonstrated that Statistica is able to successfully load this data set into memory while if you look at uh, RapidMiner um, the trial version of um, version 6 or 5.3 that those two versions cannot um, import this into memory. In two weeks I'm going to follow up on this challenge by using the in place database uh, feature in Statistica. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to import the CSV file that I have downloaded into a database and then I will show how you can use this in place database feature with um, that uh, database. I also will use RapidMiner 5.3 and use the streaming feature to see how that works in comparison. Uh, maybe that will give us a little bit better um, comparison of how RapidMiner works compared to Statistica where um, it's obvious that uh, RapidMiner is not as efficient in how they are loading the data. Maybe this will give us a, an idea of, of how we can still get that data into uh, rapid miner to be able to use it. So anyway, until two weeks, I hope you have um, a chance to download the data yourself from the website that I outline on dmanswers.com and you can have a chance to do this comparison yourself and prove to yourself that Statistica is superior in its um, data management and being able to read in files into memory.